Hey, it's Scott. In a previous Give Me Five, we touched on the whole idea of whether it was an endotracheal tube, a king airway, or an LMA, about how much air you could use to inflate the cuffs. And with that in mind, I want to go ahead and just take that quickly one step further and pass on a couple pearls that over the years that anesthesia has taught to us on transport as well. The first of which involves when you're going to go ahead and inflate. Remember from a previous Give Me Five, when you're trying to figure out how much air for a King or an LMA, all you have to do is read the package. Because on the outside of the package, it says this is how much air to inflate with. Great. Now, take that one step further though, and that's tip number one. And that's if you are not the person who's going to be inflating. Just like when you're giving medications, as a rule, we never give a medication that you didn't personally draw up out of the bottle. Same idea applies here. So if you pop in the airway and somebody else is going to inflate it, kind of a neat trick, number one, and that's don't just give them a syringe. Put some thought into it and give them the correct size syringe. Because if you're going to inflate a little tiny endotracheal tube, remember all it's gonna take is a CC, maybe two at the most. So number one, only give them a tiny syringe. Don't give somebody a 60 CC syringe and say here, inflate this little tiny tube because bad things will happen. Take that one step further, give them the correct size syringe. But especially if you work with interns, residents, etc., whereas they may not play with these as much as you and I do, not only give them the correct size syringe, but take it one step further and pull back the syringe. That way you've got exactly the correct amount of air. So if you know you're only gonna inflate with one cc, pull it back to one cc, hook it attached with one cc. And that way, when it's in place, you can go ahead and inflate with only one cc. Versus if you've got a big old King Airway and you know that it's gonna probably take 50, maybe even 60 cc's to inflate, We'll go ahead and hook up a 60 cc syringe, pull it all the way back to 60, hook it up, then when it inflates, you're set with the correct amount of air.